Hi guys, so I just thought I would make a video of which products did we sell a lot of in 2023 now where the year has passed and I can pull reports on the most popular products in the store. Now I thought I would do it on number of sold items and not revenue and other stuff because that really doesn't really concern anybody like competitors anyways and I will not tell you about the amount of pieces sold either but if you could take a guess did we sell the aerial in high grade more than an action base one clear yes we did aerial the HD Gundam Aerial, which I actually got very late, is the most sold item in the store. No surprise there. <clears throat> I could have guessed that if I was able to get enough Calibars once it came, it could have maybe been close, but I didn't. I got 20 pieces. Um, next week, we will get a shitload of Calibars. And now all the hype is probably over. So we'll be stuck with a ton of them. That's how it is. So Ariel surpassed the Gundam Action Base 1 Clear, which is always popular because people on a wide base <clears throat> need a base for their kit other than just a single kit so i'm surprised a bit actually that it that it uh, sold more than the bases action base five clear is number two hmm and then we had a lot of good sales on the tool side because gun primer gate remover set surpassed the display nipper those two are battling uh, four and five but the gate remover set was more popular than the nipper that's probably because a lot of people already have a nipper from uh, previous hobbies or buy them from elsewhere whereas the gun primer gate remover set you can of course buy other files and sandpapers and sticks and glass files and stuff but it's just not as good I had actually thought that the next products would have sold most. That's the clip sticks from Mr. Almighty. You know, the croco beaks that we uh, use when we paint our kits because people often buy them in bundles. It didn't. Now, the balancer gray and whites are very popular tools as well. I will make another video where I will go through some of the tools. I had a request of. Uh, we have a lot of uh, new people, new builders that uh, can maybe, it can maybe be a bit overwhelming with all the tools if you don't have the knowledge or time to uh, do the research anyway. But um, I will do that later. Elfrith, which I think sold out yesterday, typically, um, was next in line. So which of Mercury is really dominating here? Then we have markers, which I actually thought would be higher up than kits as well. But we have the, uh, the 301 and the 01, which is the port type and the... Oh, sorry. Not port type. Always oh, yawn. I think it's part of... You know, they don't know why people yawn like 100% and why it's contagious and why animals yawn. I have a feeling I yawn when I lack oxygen. can be uh, uh, during training. It can be when I sit here and talk uh, more than I would normally, uh, focusing on another language and reading and, you know, spending a lot of air. So I think that's why. So sorry for that. Um, something that surprises me, and then again not, is the Barbatos. The Master Grade Barbatos is actually up here as well. Historically, it's probably the most sold kit, but that it's still selling that good is just 
top notch. Then we have an action base six. We have a marker remover. We have action base four, black action phase base four, clear. We have the Gundam aerial rebuild. And then there's something that I think is pretty awesome. The MGEX Strike Freedom is all the way up there battling the aerials. When you think about how expensive it is. Wow, that's nice. And uh, that one is sold out as well. It's the one, uh, yeah. You can see how far I came. For those of you who have been following on Discord, maybe on Facebook, it actually uh, is starting to take form. Um, very, very beautiful kit. Let's see if it can focus. I did not apply any panel lining or decals yet. And I am missing a part for the side skirt. So he is not having a side skirt at the moment. It has to be bought from Japan. We have the Ziploc bags. We have the, what's that? Someone is cut off. The Sasa Beaver car. Why are sales declining on Sazabis now? Is it because I like kind of sold enough to all you guys? Or did you just forget about the big red bastard? Oh god, you sleep more, seems like it. Display cutting mat. It's the A3. I actually sold out of those. I have six uh boxes of display incoming. Uh, so they will be back in stock. We have how far down should we go on this list? We can go on forever. <clears throat> Take a few more. Action base one black. Action base five black. Sanding sponge. Oh, it's because it's all the sanding sponges merged as one product, even though we have a lot of grains. Panel line is from Tamiya. Oh, that sound, if you can hear it, is actually orders. Uh, the phone is in the charger due to I just made a video in 4K and sucked all my battery and I even ran out of storage so I had to delete and make two videos and merge them in iMovie. It takes a hundred years and, and, and drains a lot of battery um, so I can't even see the orders but that's great because the day has been a real bad day. Four returns, two sales, something like that. It doesn't look good on paper. Aerial full mechanics. Entry neighbor, uh, it's the blue one. And then we have right after that the spirits, Bandai spirits build up nipper. And we have flat clear, decal adhesive, softer type. You know, now we're getting to where people can customize and uh, do lovely stuff with their kits. And then all the way down here we have the notorious. Say it inside your head before I say it. Something that has been spamming my channels on both Discord and YouTube. Archie Hainu moment. Um, I, I sold so many of those. But in uh, 2023, it was like kind of more low key. Then we have the gray GM marker. And then we have the Evangelion Unit 01, which is always popular and I always sell them. Oh, it's sold out again. We have Gun Prime Razor Plus, the more uh, powerful razor, if you could say that. It, it's it's more grains, the kind of more rough, takes knobs off easier. And then we have, let's end it here, the PG Unleashed, which is also sold out. But behold, next week, I hope, we will get more PG Unleashed. Um, so, oh, let's go down three more. Bandai's, Bandai F Spirits File Stick Set, that's the sanding set, Witch of Mercury Display Base, and first, all the way down here comes the Caliborn. <clears throat> and I actually have one Caliborn in stock, which is an error, but hear me out. If I put one Caliborn bag in stock, a lot of people will get the bag in stock notification 
and only one can buy. So maybe 10, 20, 30 will go in vain. And that annoys people because they have, then they have to sign up again. So I will wait until the Cali Barns come, I think, on the 10th, six days. So slow. They shipped it the 20th of December. But then Main Freight, this is no commercial for Main Freight. This is this is delivering your service. They forgot to tell the, both the distributor and me that they don't drive any packages out between Christmas and New Year's Eve. So, that's a lot of days with no service. So, something that was picked up and shipped the 20th of December will be here the 10th of January. Yeah, that's it. Now, those were the most sold products in Gundam Store. And I got something else for you. What is this? The first of its kind. Yes. Look, well, would you focus? Let's try something else then, like this. Whoa, what is this? This is the new Gundam Store sticker. And no, this mobile suit does not exist, so nobody can come and do copyright claims or anything. This is, this is fixed, uh, what do we call it? An imaginary mobile suit doesn't exist. Now, I have to figure out how people should get these because these are for Gundam customers. Merchandise customers have no interest in this, so these will be for Gundam customers. Now, you can help me out to figure out how we do, do this. We have some different options. I haven't really thought about them. I'm just thinking of it now. I can make it as a product for free where people can buy. Buy only one. Or uh, I can put them in. Mm, what was it I was thinking about? Uh, is there probably some kind of notification. Do you want a free sticker and people can say yes um, or it should be for people who know that they should ask for it in the comments but I think that's kind of not fair um, for people that are ordering more than one a month this I mean it's hard for me to figure out who already got one and who didn't these are limited uh, I have <clears throat> a limited amount of these. This is number one. There's no number on them. But the thing is that they were supposed to be kind of collectibles. So um, once they're gone, I will order new ones. And uh, let's see how far they last. But I have to figure out how to make sure that people can actually get them um, we can also uh, have them as a product where it's just a, a fixed price uh, like one Danish kroner or something it's not even covering them but it's to to be able to get people to go in actively and and, and buying these things and collecting them because um, the other thing is, is it's difficult to find. I'm not going to develop a whole system for the store for these stickers. This was actually just an idea. So I don't want to charge people a huge amount. It should just be, uh, you know, uh, for you to go and actively put them in the basket. And then if it costs like one kroner, I think people would survive. Um, yeah. What do you think, guys? It actually came out pretty nice make a t-shirt so a new little thing in the store i've been thinking about these stickers since not day one maybe but i think at the first year already i just had a hard time figuring out how am i gonna make sure i can do the artwork how who am i gonna pay for it how's this gonna go how is the system gonna go is everybody gonna have it you know, and then so many other things happened. 
but we got stickers. That's it, guys. I'm not going to bother you anymore with all this uh, mumbling around. How uh, long has this video been on now? What's with this? Ah, 15 minutes. Yeah, short video. <clears throat> I um, I'm going to make another video. Probably not today. I'm not sure regarding the tools. Now, um, I don't have all the tools myself and I'm not going to drag the whole store in here so if I do it out where they are or we do it a combination like kind of what I use <clears throat> and an explanation through the web store what things are uh, would probably ha be how I do it um, yeah let's see I think Friday is tomorrow we'll probably have more time for filming tomorrow um, mm. Hmm. let's see guys i hope you enjoyed the video if you like more insights actually on the live streams we uh, we even took some uh, statistics on people who had most orders and most expensive orders and most spent money and stuff uh kind of fun um i'm not that afraid of sharing stuff uh, as long as it's kept private for who it is and stuff like that i'm not going to share all kinds of weird stuff because there's also something like you know competition and people watching so um but we can do a lot of this stuff for a monthly basis or something or if you want me to go through news or whatever i'm up for it um take care guys and i hope you had a great 2023 let's make 2024 even better and see what this list can bring up next year See you later, guys.